Hey there, so today we have another one and uh, this is pretty cool. This is Lawson's Finest. And this is actually the first beer I've had from them out of the Waitsfield, Vermont facility. So now they have a brewery in Vermont. And this is Maple Nipple. And uh, quite an awesome history with this one. Uh, you know, obviously in Vermont, you're make, uh, making maple syrup. And maples now you can use in stouts and all that cool stuff. But uh, this was definitely one of the cool early beers that was using maple syrup um, in a beer. So really cool. And also a uh, beautiful history with this one. I mean, it has to be like five years ago i went probably around this time to vermont um first time to vermont went for heady topper went for, to hill farmstead went to um actually bought double sunshine and little stubby bottles of uh, maple nipple from sean lawson's hands you know like pretty crazy he was selling out of like a church and like a weekend sale we stood outside in the snow and all that cool stuff so eight percent um, amber ale made with maple syrup so let's see how this one turns out have it decently a little bit warmer than the fridge temperature. So let's see how this one turns out. So a beer comes in a beautiful medium to deep amber color, beautiful clarity on that, wonderful carbonation coming out. And then you get this like light tan head on it. On the aroma, yeah. I mean, it has that amber quality to it. So it has like a lot, loads of crystal malt, has that like amber ale kind of thing. That's the closest kind of like malt aromatic I'm getting. And then it smells sweet. Um, maybe some of that maple syrup kind of woodsiness is coming through. But it's fruity too. I, I get like tons of like cherry. It actually uh, immediately reminds me of something like, um, what is it, Mad Elf from Trogues. Very sweet. But yeah, just like not even the really good uh, Luxardo Mar uh, Maraschino cherries, but like the, the fake ones, like those bright red ones that you put in cocktails. Yeah, cheers. Mm hmm. Wow. I would have guessed that there's some kind of cherry addition to this beer. It's very cherry food. It, again, it's had almost has a like almond note to it. It has tons of that kind of bright candy cherry thing. Um, soaked in like bright syrup, not like the really beautiful thick uh, maraschino uh, syrup. On the palate, a little bit woodsy, has a little bit of bitterness to it. Very drinkable for 8%. It mostly is like a not very hopped imperial amber ale. I mean, that's really pretty much what I imagine the base recipe is. It's got t tons of nice, beautiful caramel uh, notes to it, a little bit of toast, some uh, biscuit notes. The maple sweetness is not quite there. Again, again, the, the maple should really be more of a flavor, not a cloying sweetness. And maybe I'm getting some of that little bit of woodsiness in there, but then that could just be the pine on the back end. The bitterness coming in, a little bit earthy, a little bit woodsy. It's a nice drinking kind of like amber, imperial amber, kind of strong ale kind of thing, winter warmer in that range, not as dark. Um, yeah, quite nice. It, it, it's, a, it's a delectable beer. A great beer for, it really reminds me of like a fall winter kind of beer. Um, if you're looking for something that's impact tons of maple, you're not really going to get that. Instead, you're going to get like a nice big amber imperial winter kind of beer if that makes any sense to you so wonderful fruit qualities in here i'm also getting a light tinge of like prune fig but you know maybe but mostly like dry cherry kind of thing going on uh very nice as for a rating let's go with a mm, it's delicious and as i wait more and as it warms up get a little bit of that kind of like chewy kind of like maple sweetness in there so it's really uh wonderfully touched into the beer instead of being extremely excessive uh, impact. But I can imagine the beer being a little bit more impact of maple. Um, it, it, yeah. So, but again, don't expect a huge maple bomb on this one. That's what I will warn you about. Uh, let's go with the, it's nice and warm. It really is a nice uh, warmer of a beer and it's only 8%. It's not like a big 10% like uh, booze bomb. It's a nice drinkable 8% and, and it's delicious. Uh, let's go with the 90 on this one. 90. This is Lawson's Finest Maple Nipple. Delicious stuff. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.